Like for me, there's just like nothing better. There's tons of protein in there. It's got every ingredient that I love, but I really try to stay away from dairy. Dairy doesn't agree with me. It doesn't agree with most of the women that I work with. Hmm. And, um, and so I have to keep the cheese out of there, you know? Yep. And most Cobb salads use ranch dressing. Right. God, it's like a 2000 calorie salad. Well, it's I don't cheap. care about the calories. Calorie counting is another thing that really is a total Oop. misnomer. <laughs> but Walk that back, I, honey. I do care about toxicity. And when I'm eating things that my that are spiking my immune system yep. and aren't agreeing with me, <laughs> now my digestion just shuts down. Yep. Because my body's like in fight or flight mode trying to figure out how to deal with the toxicity. So, so I have to, I can eat that Cobb salad. I have to leave the cheese off and I have to use a dressing that is more oil and vinegar, not cream based. We're going to take a and quick so commercial. That takes a little adjustment, but, but then I can enjoy my Cobb salad. Perfect. Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with more with Dr. Gayla Gorman. Welcome back to Crazy Rich Neighbors. So let's talk about detoxification since you, you know, you were taking us through um, when we eat things, for instance, dairy um, or certain oils, maybe seed oils, things like that, that don't agree with us. How can we, we detox? What, what are the best methods of detoxing? And you also, we've read that you think that you have said detoxification, it's important, but it's risky. So can you tell us a little bit about what some of the risks could be? You guys have done your homework. I really of appreciate. Of course, it. <laughs> we appreciate your time. Yeah, so indeed. it was interesting learning, you know, all about all about you and what you stand for. So um, I evaluate twelve categories of toxicity. Wow. And um, and what tends to happen is we're all really individual, and we've got this kind of. Um, we've got a genetic makeup. We've got our sort of emotional constitution that is a stew of things that happen to us, you know, mm -hmm. all the way back from in utero. Okay. And yep. so, so we've got that as a base and now we start um, adding in all this additional toxicity. Right. And if you aren't dealing with m too much underlying stress and or your genetic makeup doesn't just make you have a sort of predisposition to having a reaction to some something, you'll be able to consume these things and your body just kind of kicks them off, right? It, it can eliminate pretty much whatever. Like we all know those people, right? That can eat whatever and never gain weight. Even women, they're, they're less common. They're psychos. <laughs> <laughs> Anomaly. You know, uh, what do they, usually they say, you know, if they're thin and you see them eating like, you know, like a truck driver, right? Yeah. And, and, and they're like, I'm just genetically gifted. But are they really Half the happy? Time they're lying. <laughs> exactly. Half the time they're, they're throwing lying. up in the okay, bathroom. <laughs> okay. Or starving for the next four days. Right. They're not though. Oh really. hell. Seriously, we just tell not. ourselves that to make us feel better. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but there are and some that, that do that though. 